Modern Day Black Gay is a web series that chronicles the life of Malcolm C. Hughes, who lives in Brooklyn. He is a writer, a uh, playwright to be exact. And he's just trying to figure out who he is as it relates to being black, as it relates to being queer, and just at the core as it relates to being a human being. So that's Modern Day Black Gay. Hashtag MDBG. How I went about each episode being a question is literally I was thinking about what are some things in our community? Are you a top or a bottom? Bam. What's your coming out story? Bam. Am I gay enough? Bam. And it just kept going and kept going and kept going. Um, sometimes it was just the question that presented itself. Um, and I wrote the episode around the question. Then there was sometimes there was a moment that happened. Uh, and I wrote the episode around the moments. Uh, and the question came from a particular moment. Um, but I realized that, that for me, that was very helpful because it made me remember what I want to explore in each episode. And if I got too far away from that question, um, I reeled it back in. Or I figured out a way for the deep end to still relate to the question. Um, and that was a challenge for me, but then also um, it was a good challenge as a writer. So that's kind of how I came up with the questions, or rather, I should honestly say, um, the question angle kind of found its way to me. Um, and it helped me out a lot. It helped me out a lot with, again, rooting each episode um, in the question and having each episode have this kind of common thread. Malcolm's voice comes through in the series and we hear Malcolm's thoughts often um, and it's done in a way where the audience, where the viewer, I would hope feels like a character, feels like one of the most important characters, feels like the most important character to Malcolm um, through how the show is shot. The show is shot through the lens of Malcolm, so we see everything, or we see a majority of things through his eyes um, and through his perspective and how he would kind of navigate uh, certain situations and stories. And then with the sound of MDBG, we have this, uh, I would hope, level of sophistication with also this kind of level of kind of fierceness. And I tried to do that through uh, jazz music and through uh, ballroom house vogue music to kind of create the sound um, of what this world is like. This level of sophistication that our community has and also this level of fierceness of, fuck it. I tried to find something else to say, but that's what it boils down to. Uh, and just existing, and just existing through all of that. So yeah, so MDBG, Modern Day Black Age, is about fun, um, truthful, honesty, fearlessness. I was tired of not saying myself uh, in the media. And, and then also, it got to a point where the things that I would see that were supposed to be, or who was supposed to be me, um, it was just extreme caricatures and it was stereotypes. And I just got, again, very tired of seeing these things that were supposed to be me, but in all actuality weren't me. So I wanted to do uh, my part. I wanted to use my artistry writing to tell this story and to convey these people, to convey these human beings. I went into this with the thought process one, just to kind of create uh, this world to tell this story to get this off of my chest and then as I got deeper into it I started to really listen to the characters and who they are and I realized that they are distinct uh, they do have their own voices and they started to become to a certain degree this kind of for me on um, these stock characters of who these men are and who are these men as we lead to our community and where they fit into our community so that's my long-winded answer it's my hope that someone who sees it, they'll be able to see a, at least a trait that they may have in one of the characters. Uh, they may be able to relate to every single character because they see some of themselves in every character, or they just may be able to identify with one character. Um, but that's my hope that everyone 
will be able to see, and when I say everyone, not just individuals in the LGBTQ community, uh, individuals who are straight, um, where they also can see some of themselves in some of these characters. Because at, at, at the end of the day, I want for it to be universal. I want for it to have this kind of theme of humanity where everyone can see themselves in these characters. Again, not just the LGBTQ community, but the straight community as well, can see an element of themselves in a character. And they may not have thought that, but they get something from it.